hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and i'm going to take you through this integration so you're asked to integrate such a question and it's really kind of like stressful to work uh, this integration is it is as you can see uh, to try to, uh, to integrate e to the power y squared it's kind of like difficult but there's a way to it we are going to we are going to change the order of integration so that's i'm going to start with my dx dy so this will make life very easy when you're when you're working this question so but how do i change the order of integration it's simple you need to start by sketching the area or the region whose area is represented by this integral so to sketch it's kind of like easy there's a video that is in the description you can just refer to it go and look at the video it gives you steps in details on how to sketch this graph so i'm just going to rush through the explanation on how to sketch it you need to make use of make use of limits so for y the limits for y my limits for y they are ranging from so for 2 to 2 and my limits for x they are ranging from 0 to 4 so that means from this from these limits i'm going to determine that y is equal to x over 2 that's so this is, this is as you can see this is a graph i'm going to sketch this graph and it's a straight line so this is a straight line from cutting on zero this is my x and this is my y axis and we know that the x from this inequality you can see that x is ranging from zero to four so this is my point then also y is ranging up to four up to two sorry so this is two let's assume two is here so how do i find uh, x from this y so we know that from this equation i can say 2y is equal to x so that means my value here 2 to get its x i'm going to punch it here then i'll get 4 so it's actually somewhere here somewhere here so this is the 4 so now we need to find the common area so from this inequality this is the region and also from this equality from 0 to 4 this is the region so this is the common region that we were looking for now we need to proceed so now changing the direction changing the order of integration if you're changing from y to x now you need to pay attention on this you need to draw a line cutting across the region that the region that we have been looking for so you need it has to cut across the region that so you need to note when the horizontal line passed or ended the region and exit exited the region so those are the limits of x so i'm going to say it ended at when x is equal to zero that's true and it left the region and this point is x is equal to 2y because this graph is y is equal to x over 2 so what is x x is equal to 2y so this is my 2y here this is my upper limit then for y for y we just need to look at the region and we just see the limits of y in the region so the limits of y are from 0 to 2 That's 0 to 2 right what happens to the to the function the function doesn't change it remains the same y squared so now i'm going to integrate 
so the first thing you need to do when you're integrating something like this a double integration you need to first deal with the inner integration so my inner integration is with respect to x so that's 0 to 2 now since y is e to the power y squared is a constant with respect to x so that's x to the power y squared dy So that's, and this, these are the limits from 0 to 2y. So it's 0 to y to 2, 0 to 2. Then I'll make use of the limits. That's 2y minus e to the power y squared minus 0. So it's just, it's just like this. So it's 2y. Now, to integrate this, as you can see, if you look closely, 2y e to the power y squared is simply the is simply the derivative of e to the power y squared so if you differentiate this you are going to get this so the limits 0 to 2 so that so if I punch, if I place these values, these limits, I'm going to get e to the power 4 minus 1. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. And